Hi and welcome to the Logic Basic Tutorials. These tutorials are designed for Logic newbies and rookies to get the UB noise flow the straightest way possible. It's gonna be quick and rough and if you can't follow that fast, just stop and rewind the video. If you are looking for more basics and nicer videos, I can recommend you the SF Logic Ninja Tutorials with David Earl. Okay. Open Logic and choose an empty project. Create a software instrument track. Press Escape to open the toolbox. Choose the Pencil tool. Click in the range to create a region. Press Escape. Choose the Text tool. Click on the region to rename it. Press Enter. Press Escape to choose Pointer tool. Click on the Inspector tab. Go to the Plugin Insert slot. And load the EXS24 sampler. Load the 909 kit. Click in the bar ruler display. Adjust the loop to the length of the region. Press play. You hear nothing because there are no MIDI events in this region. Double click on the region. The piano roll editor opens. Let's check the sounds we have loaded. Click on the piano keys, find the kick on C1 and the clap on D sharp 1. Press escape. Choose the pencil tool. Click one time into the piano roll editor to draw a MIDI event and click two times on a MIDI event to erase it. Adjust the length of the MIDI regions and make sure that they fit to the 60 notes grid. Draw some MIDI events. Switch to the Hyper Editor pane by clicking on the tab. Choose Delete Hyper Set from the Hyper menu. Choose Create GM Drum Set from the Hyper menu. Here you see the MIDI events that you just created in the Piano Roll Editor. Adjust your view. Click, hold and move up or down to change the velocity of the events. That affects the loudness. Press Escape, choose the Pencil tool. In the Hyper Editor, it's possible with click, hold and moving the mouse to create multiple events at once. You can change the velocity in the same way. Just draw the notes. Let's switch back to the Piano Roll Editor. Here you see the MIDI events that you created in the Hyper Editor. The colors show you the velocity of the events. In this pane you can change velocity with the Velocity tool. Press Escape, choose the Velocity tool. Click Hold and move up and down to change the values. Select all events. Change the quantization of the events. Click on the piano key to change the quantization only for the same notes. You can record MIDI data too. Press the caps lock on your Apple keyboard to open the so-called caps lock keyboard. Press record and hit the E key to record the ride. If the region is selected, the MIDI events will be recorded inside. If the region is deselected, Logic creates a new region for the recorded data. With the glue tool you can glue regions. So these are the basics how to create a beat in Logic like in a step sequencer. We are done but I have to introduce you to the general MIDI standard drum map. It's the most common mapping for drum sounds and all kits in the Logic library follow it. It allows a very flexible handling between MIDI data and drum sounds.
because now we are able to choose another drum kit and the MIDI data will always play the right sounds. The kicks are always placed at B0 and C1, the snares at D and E1. The toms, the hi-hats, the kimbrels always at the same place on the MIDI keyboard. And as you remember, in the Hyper Editor we have chosen Create GM Drum Set from the Hyper Menu. GM stands for General MIDI. Logic automatically creates a map and the names of the MIDI notes fit to what you hear. That gives you a better orientation. So that's it, get in touch and watch the next video.